Hello everyone and welcome to Mail Something Pretty. I am Christine Josty and today I'm going to show you to show you how to make these really cool arrow fold cards. Looks like an arrow or and it's kind of a cool technique. You have this nice fold on the inside. Uh, this one I stamped happy birthday on the oh I think that one needed more glue. Um, and so they're kind of a fun card. I have other examples with different paper to show you. Um, but they all have a kind of the same type of fold there. This one I did a little coffee. And so this one, or actually these two are almost the same. They're just kind of inverted patterns. But um, to me, they look like um, paper airplanes. And so I love it with the airplane paper. I think it's kind of cool. Um, these ones to me look like tuxedos, I think has the black, and then these ones look like paper airplanes. So it's fun. So you see they're pretty versatile um, that you can put different things on top and as well as different pattern papers. So I'm going to show you how to make them. All right, so I'm going to start with just a standard um, base card. So that's five and a half by eight and a half, and I scored that in half at four and a quarter. So that's pretty standard. I do have all of my, um, all on camera, there you go. If you want to take a screenshot of them, feel free. And I'll go through each of them as well. All right, so we're going to start. We actually need a pencil and a ruler. Where did my just have it? There it is. I always have clear rulers and then I can never find them. All right, so the first thing we want to do is on the bottom, so our card's going to, Kind of be a card like that. So on the bottom, I want to mark the halfway mark. So, like I said, this is five and a half um, wide. So half of that is two and a quarter. Excuse me. No, it's not. It's two and three quarters. So I just want to make a little pencil mark right there, and then I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to find the halfway mark as well. So this is four and a quarter from that fold. The score line to the edge is four and a quarter. So this, I want two and an eighth. Little marks. And two and an eighth on this side. Like that. So those are our marks. So mark here, mark here, and a mark here. That's going to help us figure out where we're going to put the score lines. So the score lines are going to go here and here and here and here. So I kind of wrote that down. So the make a pencil mark, the portrait, you've got to mark half at two and three quarters on the bottom only. So that's important. Um, and then the landscape this way, you are going to mark at like we did two and an eighth here and two and an eighth here. And so now we're going to connect the dots with our scoring tool. So I'm going to use my paper trimmer. So um, the Stampin' Up! trimmers, they come, you get a dark, the blade, the cutting blade is the dark gray and the scoring blade is the lighter gray. So I'm just gonna use that for this, the scoring blade. So I'm going to um, connect these two dots. So this dot and this dot are gonna get connected. So in my trackpad here, I'm going to put this dot here and this dot up here. So then when I close that, they'll score and you get a score line like that. So I also want to connect this um, score, the kind of right where the edges of the score line is the same part on the bottom. So I'm going to put that in here. And I always do put my fingers on there to make sure that I have there. So I have that mark and that mark. And I'll show you. So I have, so I went from here to here and here to here. And now we just want to do that on the other side. So we're going to connect this dot to this dot and this dot back over here to where that fold is. And you put those marks right in the cutting the track right here. And then you know that you're going to get right where you need it to be. So I think you can see that, yeah. So we have our score marks. So that's, oh, actually we do we need to cut too. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside for a second. So 
So we need to cut our pattern paper. So this is the paper I'm using. The cool thing is if you can get paper that kind of coordinates the front and the back, then you only need one piece of paper. If you want whatever's on the edges that's different, then you just have to kind of cut twice. Um, but I'm just going to show you on the one because I want to use both sides of this. So this piece of paper is five by four. So just pay attention. Like this one's not so much a direction. That one kind of has a direction. So you want your direction since this is going to be like a landscape position card. You want your pattern to follow that way. So so the five would be kind of to go with the pattern. All right. So I'm going to, I need my ruler again. So I'm going to mark the halfway point on this paper. So this paper is five inches. So this half is, two, I don't want to move it, two and a half. All right, so there's my pencil mark right there. And this on the bottom as well. So we remember we did the bottom here we want to do the bottom on this one because when we cut then this triangle will fit right on this triangle All right, so we're going to go kind of like what we did the scoring we're going to take that mark put it in the cutting pad cutting the track the cutting track and this tip of the corner and rather than scoring we're going to cut this one so we're just going to cut that right off and we're going to save it because we're going to use it and we're going to do again from that point to that point. All right. So here was our paper. We'll kind of put it back together like a puzzle. Here is our paper. So we cut it. So I want this to be the, the front of my card, like this here. So you have the option, you could just put these here and so it flows and that looks really nice. I actually should, I haven't done any that way, but they actually look really nice because this part breaks it up. But I'm just gonna show you how we did that one. So I'm gonna flip this to this side and this to this side. And then we're gonna attach So we have a, a white piece of paper underneath. So that is here. So that's five and a quarter by four, pretty standard inside. So this is gonna go right on the white here. And this is gonna go right on the white like that. Could have left them purple and that actually looked really pretty um but all right so there we go and close my glue for a second so now we need to do some folding on our score lines so you definitely want either a bone folder my bone folder's not here a bone folder or a ruler or i've been using the pampered chef little scraper things um so you want to fold I would fold on the, the big one th from the, the middle of the card to the middle of the card first. And you really do want to get a good burnish. And then I'm going to fold this back. But as you fold it back, you can kind of see I just, um, I dulled my point and I, I want a nice point. So you can put something in there like that or a ruler something in there as you fold it back you kind of keep that point sharp and we're going to do the same thing on this side so I'm going to fold this in you can even fold that out if it's in the way right now fold that in and give it a good burnish and then this one's just going to come back out but I'm going to pay attention to my point so I'm going to put that right in there 
again, I could do it with a ruler. I could probably even do it with scissors. You just need something to kind of keep that point. And you do want to give it a good a good burnish. So that's like my paper airplane. When you fold it down, you have that fold, which is kind of cool. So we want to um, glue these down. So you just want to make sure though that you glue does not go beyond where the, the paper is going to go down. So I just made like a little triangle there. Hopefully it doesn't, oh, it's oozing out a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. You can use tear and tape. Um, I don't think a regular um, tape runner would be strong enough because it has like two folds here. Because I showed you at the beginning one of mine, I didn't put enough glue, so it's popping out. Because I only put glue on one side, I need to put more glue on that one. And then I'm going to fold this open. A little glue on that one. And a little glue on that one. It's like a fine line because you don't want too much to ooze out, but you want it to be strong enough. So and then I would put something, if you have a weight or even a block, just let it sit there and give it a little pressure. So in the meantime, I will put my inside on. I'll even stamp while I have that open. I'm going to use fresh freesia. Uh, this is paper. This is retired paper. I think it retired last year. The year, might be last year. I forget. Or the year before. Um, but it's fresh freesia and black, which I just think are very striking. So I'm still using that same color. You can use, as I showed you, lots of papers for this technique. And my happy birthday. I'll show you where that came from. That is from Round We Go. I'm actually going to use the Time for Celebrate from this set as well. Um, or the other card had Happiest Birthday. And so that's all from the same set. It's a fun set. All right. Let's see. So um, if I mixed up, it almost looks like an equilateral, equilateral triangle, but it's really not because see how that doesn't fit in there. So just make sure before you get your glue on there, you have it in the right direction. So I'll get rid of my stamping. I'm just going to stamp the front. And I know I had them. There they go. So I already pre-cut my circles. So these two are actually, I didn't bring them up, but they're actually the dies from this set. And I really like using them. But I really like using them with this circle from the stylus shapes because I think they layer really nice. So I've been using that kind of combination for a while. So I'm going to, oh, I'm going to use that stamp. Just use the stays on black. Time to celebrate. Stays on black always likes to stick to paper. There you go. But it has a nice crisp, it's a nice crisp black. I like it. All right. And so we're going to layer those up. I think I'll do a combination of glue and dimensionals. This shape, these two shapes, the circle and the medallion, always remind me of elementary school, like those stickers and the badges that we got. Oh, 
Professionals again to pop that up. Close this for a second. I'm actually going to give that because it's popping up on its own. There we go. All right. I'll stick this right in the middle. That's pretty sharp looking. And then I added a few gems. So on these ones, I used these guys. And so fortunately, I love them, but they're retired. But there they were iridescent. So the the newer ones, this is a half pack. They're kind of similar. They're iridescent. So they're pretty, they're, except for these ones, hopefully you can see have like little star shapes in them. So I'm gonna use those for this one. This one only has two sizes. That one had three different sizes. So I have to think. works. I like because it picks up a lot of the pinks and the purples, the iridescent one, so I like that. All right, so there you go. That is an arrow bold card, which have been pretty popular. I know I did a live on one of them. Um, actually, I think I had showed these on the live before, but just to show the versatility of them that there's really, you only need one little piece of, you know, one layer of designer paper, but you get two patterns of it. So it's kind of fun. And um, yeah, so that's the arrow bold card. I keep stumbling over it. So I hope you liked it. Um, again, I am Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty. If you are not on my mailing list, I encourage you to go over to my website, mailsomethingpretty.com and sign up. I send out emails every week um, and they can be an assortment of tutorials or tips or what's going on or, and I try to make it relevant and helpful information. Um, and so I encourage you to sign up as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel and that way you'll be notified whenever I load up a video like this one. All right. Have a wonderful day. I hope you like it. Let me know. Bye-bye.